Welcome back guys, uh, I know it's been a long time since I posted a tutorial on my YouTube channel so, uh, well, it's been a busy month, well we can say that, yeah it's been a very very busy month, March, oh my god, I had a lot of coursework to do and uh, well, yeah, you, uh, as uh, being a university student you know the drill, so yeah let's just continue on the tutorial on interfaces. So. What we're going to do in this tutorial is I'm going to introduce you to what an interface is and <coughs> and we're going to go through uh, what an interface is and how you can make use of it in a in a productive way so okay so what is an interface interface is a type it, it defines a type so you can say that uh, it's like a plug in a socket situation a socket is common while well, you can have uh, different types of plugs plugging into that socket. Well, now you'll say that all the plugs look same, but no, the internally they are they are they are different. The product that is being attached to the plug is, I mean, may have a requirement of uh, five volts or fifty volts. However, the socket is the same. So, the plug is like an the socket is like an interface between the actual electricity provider and your uh, electricity require <laughs> I don't know uh, uh, your product yeah so well yeah so uh, that's the drill uh, what in about an interface so to explain that in a better way I'm just going to create a new class called the killer class and I'm going to create two more classes good person and that person. Now, uh, y most of you must have guessed what, how this is going to work. Is that a killer class is going to kill good person and a bad person? However, uh, being me as a good person, what I'm going to put a rule in this is that killer can only kill a bad person. <laughs> okay, so well, as you know the. Uh, you know, is is bad to kill a bad uh, is bad to kill a good person. So well, yeah. Now, uh, traditionally, what people would do is uh, they well, you need this. Uh, well, traditionally, what people would do is they would create a good person GP equals new good person bad person BP equals new bad person. And you would have something like if uh, GP. Well, I mean, you would have like some method called you know kill public uh, static void uh, kill uh, bad person BP, and you would have a system dot out. Kill a bad person, right? So this is what traditionally people would do. However, the main drawback in this is that if you have, if if in future you have more classes like, uh, like a a a an excellent person and you know and and a really bad bad person and then a bad 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 person and you know something like that and a then a good and a bad person, you know. Then, then it's going to be hard to accommodate all of them in this one. Uh, in this, uh, I mean, I mean this, you'll have to make a lot of changes, you know. In a killer class, you'll have to have more, more of these methods called kill, and then you'll have a bad person. Then another, another method which would alright this method, saying, um, you know, good person GP, and then a really bad person or BP, and then a bad bad person BBP, and something like that. So that is a bad approach to the language, you know, as as I would say. To avoid that, we would create an interface called a person. And if you notice, I'm going to I'm, I'm just going to create a slight change in this uh, person. Uh, sorry, interface. And now, person is an interface. So it's not a class. It's an interface. It's like a socket. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a and an interface. It requires a method that would define classes that implement the interface. 
So in this interface, I'm going to have a method called uh, who are you? Okay, so public string who are you? Right? Okay, so oh shit, oh, oh I forgot. Okay, so in interfaces, you don't have method implementations, you just have method definitions, right? So, well, I hope you, know, you all understand what interface is. And let's have another method called uh, public string. Oh god. Get name, you know, as as a person, you know, he he has a name. And what we're going to do is in the bad person class, I'm just going to have a sort of method called uh, string, uh, sorry, a string variable, and uh, string name. Uh, okay, so, and I'm just going to say implement person. And if you see here, it's a line. It's not an error. It's to say. It's just a hint saying, asking you to implement all the abstract methods. Now, with any implemented interface, the class that implements the interface has to provide all of those methods which are inside that interface. So once I click this, you will have who are you and uh, get name methods uh, right here. So you can, you know, implement, and you have to have these. If you don't have these, then you, your program won't run and it's going to give a load um, of errors and stuff. And yeah. So, well, yeah, okay, so who are you? Okay, so now, since it's a bad person, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to say, uh, return bad, bad, and get name, return name, and in the class constructor, what I'm going to do is public bad person, okay, and, uh, well, that's it. Now I'm just going to do the same thing for the good person. Implement person. Uh, again, the squiggly line. Implement all abstract method, you know, the draw. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to um, have some. Uh, I have an attribute called name. And, uh, and I'm going to have a method called. I mean, it's, it's already there. Public good person. Okay, so now let's go into this, and it's going to be error because I've changed the class constructors from default to the our customized name class constructor. So now, how is this going to work? Okay, so it's going to work like this: uh, kill person, and we're going to have a p, right? Now, uh, you would say that, oh, person is not a class, how can you have it there? Well, I'm not creating an object, I'm just defining a class of type person. So, you, in this, you can pass all of the classes which are of type person. Okay, so, well, I'm just going to create some variables called a good person. Uh, GP. Okay, let me say Percy. New good person. Percy. And oh, another thing, I forgot to implement this. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, okay, I think that's right. Yeah, of course. Okay. Then I'm going to create another good person. Per uh, Harry. Then I'm going to create a bad person. Voldemort. Okay, bad person, come on, come on, come in, bad person, come in. Oh, Obadiah Stain. That's hard to spell. Sorry. Uh, octopus, Doctor Octopus. Octopus. Okay. 
Uh, well, and for the and for those of you who don't know who Octopus is, he's a villain from the Spider-Man uh, thing. He's uh, actually talked to Octopus, but well, who cares? Okay, so what I'm going to do is, uh, and is uh, this might you know this might uh, mm, startle you, startle most of you. Like, oh shit, how did that happen? Uh, but well, well, let's see. Kill Percy. Kill Harry. Kill Voldemort. Kill Octopus. Okay. And uh, and if I execute this now, it's gonna create. It's gonna kill all of them. But the the thing to notice here is that the Percy is a good person. It's not a person, but still I can pass it here. Why? Because it implements the person interface. So. Uh, I hope this is uh, self-explanatory and you guys understood how this works. If you don't, please post a comment below and I'll, I'll and I'll answer it in a in a you know in a quick manner maybe. Yeah, I mean and I'll try to answer it quickly. Uh, well, yeah. So as you know, Percy, Harry, Voldemort, and Octopus are not person, but since they implement the person interface, they can be passed here. Now, uh, let's run this thing and let's see what happens. Okay. And if you see here, it's gonna it's gonna have four lines saying "kill the bad person." However, we don't want this. We want this thing to kill only bad people, not good people. But Harry and Percy are good people. So, uh, uh, okay. Let me let me just do this. Okay, killed plus p dot get name uh, plus fields. Good to kill a bad person. Okay, so well, uh, I hope that's not too evil. But okay, so I'm just gonna cut this, and I'm just gonna say if now if I wanna check what P is, the the best way I can think of, the best and easiest way I can think of is P instance of sorry instance of Good, uh, bad person. So this checks if the if the object that has been passed, I mean, it knows that the object implements the person interface. So this checks if the if the object is is an instance of bad person class. Then do this. So I'm just going to paste this here. Else, and I was going to have an else if just to be extra. Instance of good person. Uh, uh, then do kill cannot kill okay uh, good person oh my oh my it's uh, someone okay cannot kill a good person Okay, so uh, let's go through the code again. Uh, if if the if the if the object uh, p is an instance of bad person class, then it, it should kill it, kill the blah 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 blah, you know. And it, else, if p is an instance of good person, then say, oh my, it's it's Harry or Percy. You cannot kill a good person. So if you so if you run this code again. It's gonna say, "Oh my, it's Percy. You cannot kill a good person. It's Harry. You cannot kill Voldemort. Feels good to kill a bad person. Killed Octopus. Feels good to kill a bad person." So you get my point here. The point is that the interfaces help you to generalize things even more, and it is really, really, you know, helpful when you are coding and when you are hard, uh, when you are a hardcore programmer. You know, uh, you would you would require it, them. I mean, and and and. It, Interfaces, in its own sense, are really good things, and I mean, I mean, I like interfaces be uh, simply because they help me to define types. And uh, in a in in my lot of projects, I've used interfaces, I mean, extensively. So, well, yeah, that's the drill. So, well, I hope you guys understood what an interface is. And uh, another thing, you cannot create an instance of an interface since it's just an interface. As you see here, it's an interface, it's not a class. In a killer class, I can't say person p equals new person. 
is going to give me an error. It's going to say that it's not in, it's not in, you know, blah, blah, blah. I usually be implemented. So that's why I'm creating an anonymous instance of the class person, uh, anonymous class person. And I'm going to go through this later because it's, it's not the right time to go through anonymous classes and stuff like that. So another thing to notice here is that you can say that, uh, you know, person he equals new good person so you can do this if you're using an interface you can say you can have a person and then you can instantiate it with a good person or a bad person or anything so that's another benefit of pers uh, of you know, interfaces now if you're like me you will ask a question that why would you use interfaces while you can do the same thing with in with uh, this thing would you call it? would you call it Inheritance, right? So, you, um, I mean, if a if a person it, it, uh, inherits from human, then you can say human h equals new person, maybe. No, sorry, you can say person equals new human. Yeah, sorry. Well, yeah. So, uh, and uh, and you can have a superclass here, and then uh, and then you can pass anything in here. However, the main drawback with that is that uh, if you want to have simple types and not, uh, and if you don't want to create an entire hierarchy of you know inheritance and stuff like that then it's really easy to have a an interface around you know just to be sure that everything works fine and works according to the rules well if you're having an inheritance hierarchy then you have to take care of the entire hierarchy and you'll have to inher I mean the the um, simple thing which is supposed to have just one method will will have to inherit all of those extra methods that is, that is in this superclass and and it just and just and that would just create a huge mess of things so that's not the right way to do it and that's why I believe it's it's a lot better to use uh, interfaces interfaces yes interfaces because they are really simple and they define a type that's it they define a type so in this in this thing I have defined a type person it can be a good person it can be a bad person I don't care it has to be a person and 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 any of these have to have these two methods who are you and get name and well we haven't used who are you here since we use this however you can well I mean if you don't know how to use this or if you want to simplify the process you can just have a who are you thing which would be implemented by all of those and they would return a unique you know unique string or something that would help identify what type of uh, thing is that so well yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial I'll see you guys next time in our next tutorial which is probably going to be about abstraction and a lot of more things so well yeah i'll see you guys later till then bye bye and have a great one